Wrestler Group is actually started as an industrial design firm, but very quickly became a product development firm. Uh, and we've been doing that for 38 years at this point. We've always been interested in doing our own projects. Um, brain powered by the hours of bad business model. But um, basically what happened was in 1995, uh, I was returning from a business trip flying over Philadelphia, getting ready to land, and reading a popular mechanics about Texas Instruments' new solar uh, photovoltaic material that they were developing, which was flexible. And I happened to be looking out the window and said, damn, that's a really big solar farm down there if you could get this stuff on people's roofs. Uh, and that really was the germination of it. Uh, the first patent was issued in 1997. And unfortunately, none of the photovoltaic materials were cost effective for dispersal across a roof, um, really until the last couple of years. And so it's really been since 2003 or so since that, that we've been able to actually get the whole process moving. There, there really have been several obstacles to the incorporation or the integration of photovoltaics into construction in the U.S. Um, there's been cost, aesthetics, and installation. Um, right now, you need to, or up until recently, you need to use a value-added reseller that you have to call, and he has to design the system and order the component parts and then install them which is a six to eight month process. What we've designed is a roofing tile system that basically is visually integrated, seamless in terms of its visual impact, um, and can be installed by a roofer. Uh, and we've actually had roofing companies tell us that it, their roofers could be trained in as little as half an hour. There, in fact, have been several approaches that have been considered. Uh, we certainly considered thermoforming, uh, we've considered compression molding, we've considered injection molding. Um, our current product moving forward is in fact going to be an injection molded tile uh, with a compression laminated PV layer. We also have developed uh, and have decided not in the short term to use a process for insert molding the PV layer into the injection molded tile. There was no way Bressler Group in its format was able to handle a project like this. So we really had to look around and find a champion and our current CEO was someone that I met that got excited and decided to be the champion and did the initial fundraising uh, and in fact uh, uh, worked with me to convince CertainTeed to become a partner, CertainTeed being a fairly large roofing manufacturer. So we actually have a roofing partner as part of our development process, uh, and that hopefully will provide us with the roofing distribution channels uh, and some of the, the marketing expertise that's required. We're looking to do a hard launch uh, early summer 09, so it's just about 10 months from now. In fact, photovoltaics, much to many people's surprise, has a tendency to not be as efficient on really hot sunny days. Uh, so right here in Arizona uh, probably is a less efficient place to have PV than in Philadelphia uh, or in New Jersey or any of the, the temperate zones because they'll get clear sunshine without the heat and the heat decreases the efficiency uh, of the photovoltaics. It's a, applicable to both remodeling and uh, new construction. The current design will work well on any sloped roof application. It's not appropriate at this point to flat roof applications, uh, but as long as you have a sloped roof, it's, it's perfect. Getting it in production. I mean, we're in the process right now of tooling and setting up the production line for 
the introductory, introductory model. Uh, and it's, it's getting pretty exciting. We're working very hard to keep the production in the U.S., to keep the uh, manufacturing in Pennsylvania, uh, in the Philadelphia area, uh, and, and we are in fact hoping that some of our funding is going to be the result of having done that. Peter Bresler will elaborate on the sustainability aspects of his solar roofing system when he addresses the Sustain 08 conference in Chicago, November 5th through 7th. 